Hey guys, a uh, long time no see. I haven't filmed a video since July, I think. In July, I got a new job and I just have not had the energy to film at all. So that is why I haven't been filming. I'm going to be doing a wrap up because the last video I did was my July wrap up. So I have August, September and October to wrap up. And I've actually read quite a few books I haven't physically read very many books. I've wanted to talk about for that, but I've been listening to a lot of books. I work in a bakery, so um, two of my shifts a week, I'm in the back where I'm not working with customers or anything. I'm like making cake batters and frostings so I can listen to headphones then. So I've been listening to audiobooks and I don't use Audible just because it's really expensive. I got one free book off of that, but it is really expensive. I just use my library card and use Libby and hoopla so let's just get right into it so in august i only read one book and that is history is all you left me by adam silvera i read part of this during the booktubeathon and then i finished the rest in august and i gave it a five out of five stars i really really loved it this is the first adam silvera book that i've read i do own his other two books so i definitely want to read them soon so this is about a boy named griffin and his first love theo passes away and at the time of his passing him and theo were not together but theo was in a relationship with another boy named jackson and so so Jackson and Griffin are really the only two people that understand each other's grief and they go through this journey together and yeah it's really fantastic. Loved the writing style, the characters were fantastic which is my biggest thing with books is I have to love the characters and I really really liked the characters in this book. Yeah I would highly highly recommend it. In September I read three books. The first one is If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo. I listened to this on Audible. It was the book that I chose as my free book. I gave this a four to five stars. I really enjoyed it and this book is about a transgender girl named Amanda and she um, had a really really hard time transitioning in her school um, so she moves in with her dad so that she can go to a new school where no one knows her past and yeah it's really heart-wrenching I definitely almost cried during this but I was listening to it at work so I was like <laughs> trying not to and if you do read it I highly suggest reading or listening to the author's note at the end I think that it really helps to explain um, why she took the route that she did with the book. The next book that I read is Zack and Mia by AJ Betts. I gave this a three out of five stars. I liked it, but I didn't love it. I was expecting to like it a bit more than I did. And I think that my problem with this one was that I just didn't really connect with the characters. I was enjoying it, but I wasn't, I never really like clicked for me. I am excited to watch the TV show just because it looks interesting and I liked the book enough to want to watch that. And this is about a boy who has cancer and he's in the hospital um, and then across the wall like the next room over a young girl with cancer moves in and they're like the only two young people on the floor so that kind of bonds them last book that i read in september was aristotle and dante discover the secrets of the universe by benjamin Elyria signs and i gave this a five out of five stars i really really liked it i loved the characters in this book and basically this is just about a boy named aristotle and a boy named dante and they strike up a friendship and they're two very different people but they're just discovering themselves and um, exploring their sexualities and it's freaking fantastic. I love Dante so much. He's just a, such a precious little human and I love him dearly. Both of the characters are Mexican American so there's that element to it as well which I thought was really great and yeah I just highly highly recommend it. So in October I ended up reading seven books which is crazy but again I was listening to them. First book that I read was I Was Here by Gail Foreman and I gave this a four to five stars. I didn't love it as much as If I Stay um, but yeah, I liked it. And this is about a girl named Cody and her best friend Meg commits suicide. And um, so the book starts off after that and you're kind of reading about her coming to terms with this. And I also recommend listening to the author's note at the end of this one. The book did not make me cry, but the author's note did. And I was at work and it was embarrassing. But the next book that I read is Openly Straight by Bill Konigsberg. And I gave this a four out of five stars. This is about a boy named Rafe and he has been openly gay since he was pretty young. I don't remember the age and his family's very accepting of it. He goes to a pretty progressive school where no one, you know, really bats an eye over it. He just doesn't like that being gay is his entire identity. He just thinks that it really shouldn't be something that identifies him because he's so much more than that and it that's just his sexuality. He decides he wants to go to like an all boys boarding school and not mention that he's gay. He doesn't want to lie and say that he's straight. The next book that I read is Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor and I gave this a three out of five stars. I liked it. I didn't love it. I thought maybe I wouldn't like it just because it is high fantasy and I have 
a really hard time getting into that but then I thought that I might like it because I've heard people describe it as like forbidden love like a demon and an angel falling in love and I do really like that trope I liked it but I didn't love it I think that part of it is because I was listening to it um, and I kind of thought maybe listening to it would be better because like I get so bored when I'm reading high fantasy um, but I just couldn't pay attention completely obviously especially when I'm doing other things when I'm working I don't pay attention like a hundred percent but it was just so much that I think I missed like half of the book and like there's so many there's so much world building and like words and names that I just couldn't keep straight and I didn't know what was happening half of the book so I think it might be my fault the reason why I didn't enjoy it that much next book that I read is All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven I gave this a four to five stars I've heard a lot of people talk about this so many people love it and so many people dislike it I liked it I didn't love it and I understand why people didn't like it as well I liked Finch as a character a lot um, I liked reading from his point of view and um, seeing how his brain worked. I wish that it definitely explored more of the mental illness side of it. The next book that I read is The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. So the battery died and I don't know exactly what I was saying but I think that I was saying that I've read Maggie Stiefvater's other books and I wasn't a fan but I did like this one more. Um, I didn't love it but I did like it. I'm not super touch any of the characters yet but um, I feel like I could potentially. And I like the writing a lot. I think Maggie Stiefvater is a really talented author. I like the story of this book and I believe that it's set around where I live so that's pretty cool. And this is about a girl named Blue and her whole family are clairvoyants or psychic something like that. Um, and she is not and she meets this group of boys that go to the academy in town wealthy southern virginia type people basically um it's always been known to her that her if she kisses her true love then he will die and she's predicted to meet her true love this year and um Gansey is predicted to die so she thinks that might be her true love and yeah i'm excited to read more of it. I'm listening to the second one right now. The next book that I read is Every Day by David Levithan. I gave this a three out of five stars. Um, I didn't love it, but I liked it. I thought the writing was nice. This is about a person named A, I think that's what they go by. And basically they wake up in a different body every single day. They're their own person, but they wake up in the different body of a person that is the same age as them. Um, so they are 16 years old and they will wake up in the body of another 16 year old. Um, in the area basically. Yeah, they've basically lived their life just doing this and not really getting attached to anyone but they wake up in the body of a boy named Justin one day and they form a connection with Justin's girlfriend and so every other day when they're waking up they're trying to find their way back to this girl. And then the last book that I read is Holding Up the Universe by Jennifer Niven and I gave this a four out of five stars. And I think that I did enjoy this one more than All the Bright Places. I think I enjoyed this one more. And this is about a girl named Libby and she was once the fattest teen in America and she had to like be lifted out of her house, something like that. And she lo loses some weight, but she's still a bigger girl. And she goes to school again. She meets Jack, who I think she's met when she was younger, but Jack can't recognize faces, so he doesn't know who she is. Um, I liked this one because I loved that we had a fat main character. I really, really like Jack. I've never seen that in a book or anything really where, um, people can't recognize faces and I just think it was really interesting to read about and to see how he would like pick up characteristics to know who each person was and I thought it was a good romance and yeah I quite liked it so yeah those are all the books that I've read I hope you like this video I'm sorry for being gone for so long um, but yeah I will see you in my next video and then let's hope that's before the next three months <laughs> so yeah bye <laughs>